In a year tainted by a virus, elite athletes shine brighter than ever. One of the biggest challenges most of them faced was trying to find a place to train. Swimming was no exception. However, with the efforts of staff and administration, the Wilkes-Barre YMCA managed to stay open. Being one of the only swim programs available in the Valley, swimmers signed up without hesitation. After making waves at the regional championship by scoring the most points overall, we at 570 Sports had to make the journey down to see what all the fuss was about. This is what four of their top swimmers had to say in regards to their coaches and team. I love it. I think it was the best possible place I could have ended up to end my junior year. I love swimming with everyone here. There's a lot of fast swimmers here, so it's so nice. Everyone pushes you. You have someone to your left, to your right, in front of you and behind you, on your toes, someone to catch. It's great. Coming here, I learned to swim with a lot, a bigger group of kids, and I think that's preparing me for college more so because I'm going to swim with a huge team, not just a couple of kids in a pool every day. So I think that definitely prepared me. All the guys that are here, you know, we just train really hard and it's a, it's a great team environment. We always push each other to go quicker and everything, so it's a good environment. I think just because we have a lot of fast guys on the team and, you know, we could like go after them and try to keep up with them and they're really nice, like Peter, Kowash, and Wilby Kupski. I mean, I'm, I only knew, I just met Peter this year, but I mean, he's been great. Coach Lori does a really good job of um, keeping us going every day. It's always different. Every single day is different. Um, this year we've worked a lot of IM work and I feel like that's been a huge help. I dropped like six seconds in my IM this year, which is insane. Um, I would have never uh, imagined that. So uh, to, really I've been just working hard. Coach Lori, I have Wilby with me. Me and Wilby are pushing hard against each other. And I mean, he's, he's the Wyoming Valley uh, Conference Swimmer of the Year. So we have two of the best swimmers here and we, we go to work every day. In the beginning of the year, everybody kind of heard like that a lot of uh, what was going on down here and people came in as the year went on, whatever, but we all bought in. We all bought into Coach Lori's uh, training regimen and uh, it, it, it's been working. And obviously everybody's been doing real well from top to bottom, everybody. You know, it's like the best swimmers from all around here and we all train together and push each other. It's great, I think it's great. Because this was one of the only places that we were able to train, so. Been dropping time this, this season. Did do two all districts, but throughout the season I was dropping time, so. The coaches are great. Uh, always pushing us, making sure we're doing the right stuff. Good sense. One of the greatest aspects of this team is the exposure the swimmers get. Many of which end up committing to post-secondary education with the intent to swim on the collegiate level. I'm going to Seton Hall University this Fall. Uh, I'm looking at Misericordia, Arcadia, and Gettysburg right now. Uh, I'm looking at Misericordia as one of my top choices. Little to our surprise, these swimmers also have ambitious plans for the future. The goal with my four years, I want a medal in the Big East Conference. I think I could do that. I'm excited because high school events are like very limited. So most of my main events are college events, not high school events. So I'm so excited to be able to swim more of like distance events. So like I swim like the two breasts and 4 a.m., which is college events, not high school. So I'm so excited to be able to do that. I plan on swimming in college. You know, I want to drop time there, do well. I'm hoping to primarily contribute like heavily on their main relays. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be swimming a lot of IM next year. Uh, a little bit backstroke too, obviously. Um, I, I'm just really excited to be a part of that team and um, you know, contribute. Lafayette commit Peter K. Wash won two gold medals in the PIAA state championship, solidifying his status as the fastest swimmer in Pennsylvania for his age. However, Peter doesn't plan on stopping at just this state. Uh, first stepping stones to trials. Uh, that'd be awesome to make. Um, there's a trial this summer. I don't, that's probably not in the, in the goal, but there's another one in four years and three, four years, and I'm definitely, definitely looking to try to make it there. That would be a, a dream come true. Oh, I never I never thought it was possible when I was younger, but uh, over the last year or so, I've been really thinking about it and I feel like if I just keep working hard and a couple more years, my training down there, I feel like I don't see why it's not possible. The morals and lessons taught by the Wise Swim program don't only apply in the pool. Their team is based around shaping young adults into the leaders of future generations. Uh, you gotta have determination. You know, you're gonna have days where you're not doing well and you're gonna have days where you're on top and you're gonna be feeling great but you gotta remain humble and you gotta make sure that 
on those days where you're not doing well, you gotta make sure that you're thinking ahead and don't get down because it will get better. We also had the pleasure of speaking with aquatics director Andrea Butchko, who gave us more insight into their program. I think there's three main parts to a successful swim team, especially a YMCA swim team. The first is the coaches. We have three new coaches this year. They all have swimming experience, whether being on a swim team or their kids have been swimmers. But our head coach, Lori, has just recruited some amazing swimmers. She's written incredible workouts that are tough but fun for the kids too. And then we've got our assistant coaches, April and Kendall, that just compliment her so well and really, really make the practices fulfilling for the kids. Then there's the swimmers. Obviously, the swimmers on the swim team, they work so well together. They complement each other really well. They have fun at practice when they're here. So not only are they training and working hard, but they're happy hanging out with their friends and they don't all go to school together. Especially now, some of them aren't even physically going to school, so it's just been so good for them to come here and be with one another. And then with anything with high school sports, you have to have good parents. We have incredible parents that are here at the YMCA, and not only are they bringing the kids to practice, organizing carpools, but they're volunteering at our meets. They're our timers, they're working the scoreboard, they're making sure the kids are lined up for their races, and all those things together, we just we got lucky this year, and we had all three. Well, it all starts from the very basics. I mean, there are kids that have been on this swim team that have been learned how to swim at the YMCA. So we build it all the way up. So we are continuously recruiting swimmers through our Learn to Swim programs, our swim clinics like we have going on right now. And that all leads towards our high school swim team where then they get noticed by colleges and get recruited by colleges and go to these great schools. We're, that's the great thing about the YMCA, we're all inclusive. We welcome anybody that's willing to give it a shot. If you have competitive swimming experience, you're welcome to join our Orcas team, which is ages 12 and up, or our Mini Dolphins. It's for kids ages five through 12 that are new to competitive swimming. They know how to swim laps, they're familiar with the strokes, but they just, they need to meet the coach, they want to do a workout, see if it's the sport they want to continue with. So you can go to our website. Our website is WB is in Wyoming Valley, ymca.org slash aquatics. We always have all of our competitive swimming programs on there, our clinics, our summer swim team is coming up and that would be a great way to get started to see if the full fall winter swim team is for you. The summer swim team is shorter, it's only 11 weeks, um, but it still gives you the full experience of the coaches, the workouts, to see if it's something you'd like to get into. Our Instagram is Wilkes underscore Bear Family YMCA. Follow us on there for pictures, videos, and everything that's going on. So I took it upon myself to come out and, and, and uh, to the Wilkes Bear YMCA because uh, I'm noticing things that they, they have uh, a ton of kids that are going on college scholarships, whether it's Division One, Division Two, Division Three. They just have an extremely large amount of kids that are going to the next level. And I wanted to get up here to get a chance to highlight this program and say, hey, if you're looking, if you're looking for somewhere to go swim, this may be your place. I mean, there's other places as well, don't get me wrong, we're not knocking any other place. But we're just saying, hey, kids are going to college here and it may be time to take advantage of that. They got some great swimmers up here this year. They've got some trim prep swimmers. The Wyoming Valley Conference swimmers, uh, schools all around, just all around. Peter K. Walls, Riley Collins. They've got some big time, big time swimmers in this building. Uh, so if you're looking forward to going ahead and trying to swim, this may be your spot. I just wanted to give you a, a briefing on that. Five seven zero four.